Yo, what is up? I'm going to do with something a little bit different today. I am just gonna paint with y'all. I don't know why I said y'all. It's a weird time in the world because I want to include everybody. And when you're not trying to offend anybody, y'all is like the best word, It's right? inclusive. And it stays away from the fucking pronouns. Yeah, I'm from the north. Does it matter? No. Y'all don't mind, right? I am going to be painting today. You may be asking, well, Noah, what are you going to be painting? I don't know. That's part of the fun, baby. I don't know what I want to paint, and I, I don't want to restrict myself okay. to coming into something. Oh, I want to paint this. Unless I have, like, a fucking picture in my mind, I don't know what I'm going to paint. I'm going to take a little bong ski, though, first, because that's how I usually like to get started. <laughs> mm. Tremendous. My mom blessed me today. She just surprised me with this like canvas pack. She knows that I've been painting a lot recently. And let's just go with this one right here. This is about, this is the third largest size right here. Nothing crazy. It's not too big, not too small either though. Step one in my opinion is what way am I going to do it? Landscape or the other scape? I, f I don't know. I'm not a fucking painter. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I think it's actually called portrait this way. Kobe. Made that shit, by the way, you couldn't see, but you're just gonna have to believe me. <laughs> Only have kids when you wanna have kids. Don't fucking force that shit. You could ruin a whole person's life by just creating them. And I just brought up all your childhood trauma, so that's what's up. Sorry about that. So, let's bust it open. Relax, vibe, and try to join on this creative en endeavor, as they call it, in sophisticated parts of the world because that's a very sophisticated word endeavor endeavor it sounds like a like a, like a garnish would you like your steak with some endeavors i'm like fuck yeah i want them endeavors uh magenta fuck it we're going a little magenta today where's my fucking i almost forgot my fucking cum rag i always like to have a little cum rag on my on my on my lap just to wipe that come, come, off. Come. Let's start out with a big brush here. Ugh. So I brought a big brush out. I'm gonna take you through my thought process of this. I brought the big brush out because I'm just gonna get a little background going. I don't know why I tend to lean towards light blue backgrounds. I don't know what that says about me, but I enjoy a nice white and blue Oh man, my brush was too wet. But I like to lean towards like blue skies. It's probably because of nature. I'm just I'm just really used to seeing blue up there, so we'll see where it goes from here. I can already tell these are better brushes. Like it's really absorbing the paint and like I'm I'm able to paint a lot longer without re-upping. That's nice. Thank you, mom. If somebody asked me, hey, are you an artist? I'll say no, but I kind of just realized that everything I do revolves around art, everything. I do stand-up comedy, that's considered an art. I create videos on the internet. Think about a lot of the times, like what keeps me going. And I think like, why do I want my name to be in the history book? It's a tough one. I think because of the inspiration that I received through the previous greats in all aspects of life, I think I want to keep that feeling in this world for future generations. And if that means that I have to give it all I have to try and become that next great that can inspire others, then that's what that means. Oh shit. That, this is turning out great so far. It's looking great. I could easily sit by myself and paint all day if that provided a good income. Now, what happens is that's hard to do. So, forced to do things that you don't always want to do in life. It's just a fact. 
That's fine. I'm not gonna bitch at you. I get it, man. I fucking get it, man. Because there, there used to be a time when there was a man at the household. Back to the point. Manning up. You man up, you put your big balls on, and you go out and you do the fucking dirty work. Paying your dues, they call it. You go out and you pay your dues, you eat shit at fucking bars, and then one day, you're tearing the roof down at arenas. First, you gotta pay your dues. I'm in the paying the dues stage, and I'll be lying to you if it was like, if I said, oh my god, I love paying my dues. It fucking sucks sometimes. Sometimes you're just like, I don't wanna pay my dues. Sometimes you just wanna already have what others have worked so hard for. That's what people don't understand. You know, they can tell little Timmy, Timmy, one day you're gonna be a doctor. Do you know that, Timmy? You're gonna be a doctor one day. And Timmy's gonna be like, what? I don't wanna be a doctor. But what happened? Poor Timmy has no choice. His parents make him become a doctor. Nah, this motherfucker, Timmy, worked 40 years of his life. He becomes said doctor. Makes his parents happy. Life goes on. But what they don't understand is, he didn't need to do that. Becoming a doctor is very hard. Everybody knows that, right? But what happens? The parent tells the kid, you're going to do this. You can do this. And then they achieve it. You understand? Parents' positivity and reinforcement can do a lot. You don't need it, but it helps. <laughs> The point of me saying this all is because some parents will put huge pressure on somebody to achieve something extraordinarily hard in which they don't even want to achieve, but they will shoot down the opportunity that the child actually wants to do, which is also the same level of difficulty, sometimes even less difficult than what the parents want, and they will turn it down because take the safe route. It's not the safe route, bitch. You just sent me down the kill myself route. I don't understand why parents do this to their kill to their children. It's very sad to me. You know? Alright. So actually back to the paintings now. It is turned into some sort of cityscape. Some weird kind of futuristic cityscape kind of deal. I've kinda of had this obsession with kind of long narrow roads that lead to what appears to be nothing recently. I don't know why, but it's true. Like, I've just been fucking obsessed with it. So far, so good. I actually don't mind this at all. I actually like it. You know, I want to know what you guys are doing in your life. If you're still watching, comment down below and let me know. What are, you like, some of your goals? What are you trying to achieve in your life? Do you have, like, a fucking idea in microbiology that you need to fucking bring to the world but it's gonna take some time and you don't really know how to do it yet but you have this idea you're just a fucking stay-at-home mom that just loves her children and that's her job which is fine i just want to know what you guys are doing it's all about me hey give me the attention hey i don't want to pay attention to you but give me all your attention Ugh, you want a picture Ugh, can't believe it like what dude of course they want a picture it always baffled me. I just can't. Ah, oh, fucking picture. I can maybe get it if all they want is a picture and they don't even want to talk to you. If they just get a picture and just dip, like I maybe I kind of get that. Because that is a little weird, huh? Like, you don't even want to talk to me. You would rather just get a pick and dip. That's what it should be called, pick and dip. So you're just going to pick and dip on me? Is that what you're telling me? You was gonna pick and then you gonna dip on me, huh? Okay, I'm gonna remember that bitch. It's like, what? I'm gonna remember that bitch. The pick and dip. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir, what do you wanna order? Are you ready to order? Yeah, I just want some picks and dip. I, I, I'm sorry, sir, I just I just don't understand. What, what are you asking for? You see, I just want a celebrity to come up in this bitch, man. So I can take a pick for the gram. Post this shit, get like 2,000 likes or something. Man, dip out there, ho. You got a side of Tabasco. Imagine a side of Tabasco. They just, they're just like, I'll take um, I'll take uh, a Caesar salad with a side of 
Tabasco sauce. Like, bitch, what? We're not even gonna serve you. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna put hot sauce on a salad? The fuck? Black people don't even do that. Fuck, get the fuck out of here. Putting hot sauce on the salad is repulsive. Very interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out. Cause that's just the way I am. Scared. Some more white. Cause you can never have too much white in your life. Clouds. We're gonna get some white up in your beard. There we go. Little fucking cloud formulation right there. Yes, bitch. Is that what the girls still say? Yes, bitch. Work it, bitch. Yes. Yes, you're just like, no, bitch. Shut the fuck up. She's not even looking that good. Your girl is not looking that good. The bitch got a fashion over dress on. We all saw the ad, but you're the one that bought it, bitch. We all saw the ad, bitch. <laughs> you ever just be like, somebody you just think that you're saying it, you're just like, Is that racist? I look at it more as like a fun pastime. Like, I'm just having fun. What Drake say? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know, I... It's actually not turning out too bad. It's always good to, it's good to see. Your mother, your mother, she looking great, Tony. Tony, I saw your mother's at the fruit market. She was looking oh, blissful. Down with the white man. Every day I wake up, I look in the mirror, I want to throw up what's wrong with me. He said, I don't know, but your eyesight is perfect. 